Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video, let's take a look at Nvidia stock earnings and the forward looking guidance and also most importantly, now we have new technicals in our hand guys. So you can see Nvidia gapped up. So technicals, we have new set of chart, new set of whatever had to happen in technicals or during the earnings time that has happened now. So we can formulate the plans for these new technicals going in tomorrow what and how to look at nvidia stock here so with that guys please hit the like and subscribe and also please note none of this is any financial advice it's only for education purposes i'll also take you over the options data and there's just yeah a lot to talk about in this video so on daily interval guys trading view doesn't show the post market reaction or pre-market reaction um, so we'll, we'll mostly do analysis on the um, hourly interval or any interval below the daily interval and but what I'm gonna do real quick here guys is at least mark uh, the price where it is let's just mark 1005 at least that's how high it has gone right it's at 1003 right now but just keep just keep this visualization that this is where the price is right now okay so now um what we have here with nvidia today so let's go through the earnings well they beat it right out of the park right right so uh, they came with okay well let's go back here again and let's start off with this thing so estimate was eps for 5.60 they came with 6.12 revenue reported is 26 billion and expected was 24.5 billion wow right and also they are uh, so i'm just going to go over high level numbers here you know the data center and gaming revenue you can check out here in the article guys not going to go over here but um the important ones are yes yeah, they beat the earnings and everything and nvidia expect second quarter consolidated revenue of 28 billion plus minus two percent the consensus estimate is 26.84 billion so they are also um already surpassing the expectations for the next uh, upcoming earnings right and also most importantly company announced a 10 for one forward stock split starting um as for until june 6th after that starting june 7th this stock price will be uh split adjusted so what does this mean i'll explain that as well so how about we start over there what is the stock split going to do from 7th june onwards so if you own the shares technically nothing changes for you no value no principal value or your invested value in the stock price changes no what you have profit by 6th of june none of that would change it will be a everything will look same the only difference would be if you had one share of nvidia let's say nvidia 6th of june closes at thousand dollars right so what this uh, split would do is if you had one share at one thousand dollars you will have now after split 10 shares at hundred dollars so technically you still if you times 100 by 10 it's the same thousand dollars right it's just that lowering the value of the stock but it doesn't changes anything if you hold the shares that just multiply those shares by 10 all right so your port your uh, profit value your um what investment value everything will remain the same nothing changes in that regards what it usually does is gives it it's psychologically it just shows that oh price is so cheap to buy right it's it just helps traders to trade properly otherwise you have you need to have a big portfolio size to trade like a thousand dollar share right so th things like that now um, I talked about the earnings and everything as I said we have technicals in our hands so let's go over there so very quickly on the daily interval guys we are still bullish above 20 and 50 days moving average higher lows still been in that fashion and higher highs right and we have a new higher high as well right so things are full on bullish on Nvidia let's go to the hourly interval because that's where the fun part is now so remember what i was talking about in my morning video on nvidia that guys nvidia yes it fell but i said that guys this my indicator that is that is marking this 931 dollars as an important level now because this is also intersecting with that trend line 
right? This trend line is being like, this is what we have been following since the time we changed the structure back to the upside, right? Back from this $761 range, right? So that trend line still provided it that same support. And I said that guys, as long as we are above that, you know, uh, 931 above that trend line, and this is before even the earnings, right? Uh, this is in the uh, uh, two hours before the earnings, we came back down there, right? 931 with the trend line and we got bought back up even before the earnings. So that was the trade as well, it went up as 940. 949 sorry right so yeah 939 oh, sorry 932 931 dollars level still held with the technicals so that's why it's very important that's why i was calling out this level is still going to hold the structure bullish on it and then you can see when earnings happened we started to fall but technically and also earnings were great so we got bought back up we were technically bullish so that also helped it to just keep going up we found support at 200 hours moving average and yeah broke then all-time highs previous all-time highs at this uh, 975 right um right over here uh this this zone right from the previous candles i'm just trying to show you that as well so that you have a better picture there this 975 and 965 dollars levels and nvidia broke out of that and then rest is the history right so let's go to the five minutes actually things will get much more clear there so you can see then nvidia after the first candle uh tried to start to sell off but look where did it got bought back up again because now technicals were working out right in in the because earnings happened price tried to make the move and then look at it where it found support at uh, those all-time highs of 974 in other words 975 and 967 where my or 965 sorry i said that before it's 967 where my indicator has already marked these levels so you can see these support held over there and we sh kept shooting up and up and when guidance calls started to happen uh so, sorry the earnings calls started to happen took out the recent earnings uh gap up as when it went higher right so from here how do we trade it going in tomorrow this thing so let's get rid of this red line first. Okay, so guys, it's still full on bullish. So nothing really changes. Let's go to the four hours actually so that I can show you that trend line. So uh, time has come to extend this trend line further out now. And here we go, guys. So yeah, again, it's not going to be penny to penny perfect, but I'm just trying to show you that. So as long as we are above that trend line, you know and we are above on the swing side guys we are still bullish and if nvidia let's say starts to cool off and let's say for any reason comes to 975 dollars level tomorrow that will still keep it bullish it's just a buy you know if if any sell-off happens tomorrow right uh, let's go back let's go to the four hours actually we have good real estate there to talk about if any sell-off happens tomorrow, right? I want to see the next day as well, right? But most likely, I think intraday trading dips can be bought on this, just my opinion, as long as we are not breaking below 960, just give it a safe zone. But in my opinion, any pullbacks on this tomorrow, I don't know if pullbacks will come or whatnot, <laughs> but if it comes, they will keep uh nvidia bullish in my opinion as long as we are not breaking below 960 dollars and most importantly i i think that if any sell-off comes 975 will still hold 968 or 967 dollars range will still hold nvidia is very strong and if again like guys even if that level breaks i have a hard time believing that it's going to become bearish i don't think it's going to tomorrow become bearish it, it has just a lot of room to stay higher but have a stop loss regardless right but yeah this thing can stay bullish some other levels that you can be watching uh let's take a look at that as well in just a second um some of these levels will show up tomorrow as well guys um but i can draw some real quick as well for you let me just adjust something here and let it load okay 
Yeah, one of the levels that will show up tomorrow is going to be around this 998 or 1000, just keep it simple, psychological level. If we lose, let's say $1,000 level tomorrow, intraday, it can maybe cool off to 975, but that's just a buy zone on this, in my opinion. And if we continue to find anywhere support like 20 or 50 moving average, yeah, this will just result in a buy either. So here's the thing, either it will first give a cool off tomorrow and then will be bought back up and may not necessarily go any more higher, we'll see. Uh, but intraday, I think pullbacks on this are a long trade. I mean, you can trade short as well if you're a really good scalper, but that will be trading against the direction and I would not bet on the downside on it. Just it's very risky. Uh, no matter how low you go, even until 936, the structure is still bullish on this thing. I, I showed you that trend line, right? Like uh, this holding support trend line, right? Uh, this is very bullish, guys. So yeah, if, if you are, if let's say started to fall and you don't see the confidence in buying into it on the intraday trading, then don't trade it, okay? Leave it alone, don't short it. That's just my opinion, it's just too risky. And if you are a long buyer and you are willing to risk it, it's up to you. I'm not saying what you have to do, it's your choice. But pullbacks, in my opinion, tomorrow might push it push it higher just my opinion if again like uh, as I say if you want to see the strengths you have to watch like double bottoms at these significant levels you need to watch the price action right and uh, once the level starts holding we start to see confirmation and it may it's not going to become well pull pullbacks in my opinion are intraday going to be bought up on this um, yeah and for that you are watching the level of 975 if we come down there otherwise you're watching thousand dollars break below that maybe some short play but then if we get above thousand dollars or found support in the price of 975 it's just a pull back and then back to the upside all in all structure is still bullish for quite some time it will stay bullish i mean even until 959 or 960 is just a bullish structure on the whole, all in all, the price action on NVIDIA. All right, guys, well, let's go to the options data now. Uh, so I don't have the today's closing price on the chart because I don't have to. I don't need to. We all know where NVIDIA is. It's $1,000. So looks like these $1,000 calls increase today as well. And to me, it seems like, as you can see, it's exhausting a little bit, just over $1,000. So those calls have made the money right um that's why again be prepared guys there, <laughs> there's also a possibility it may sell off and but not become fully bearish but just stay at 975 choppy right the next day after earnings you have to be prepared because it takes a day and next day as well for technicals to fully develop after earnings so just be prepared i'm just sharing my opinion but be prepared for anything but as i gave you the level gave you the structure and accordingly things can be taken traded with the stop loss on the other direction. Now, as I said, for here on NVIDIA, um, yeah, $1,000 calls, options, they printed money and so did, well, 950 are already in the money. I do see a spike at 1050, 1050 today, not much changed on 1100 from yesterday, they are still the same, but uh, there are still a lot of calls sitting there and then 1050 also calls increase a little bit, 1025 also calls increasing there. Puts were not were never too high. They didn't increase. 850 puts increased today a lot, but not a lot, but by at least in comparison to yesterday, but not as any close as to what where calls are going right now. So yeah, there's a lot of, you know, uh, it has been a bullish strength and trade. Um, and more guys will get to know tomorrow now, like um, it's a 53, 5% move in the post market. So we will see how much can it hold, right? How much can it hold up from here? Um, if any pullbacks, and I gave you the levels to watch on the structure, right? So, all right, guys, well, that's it for this video. Well, uh, real quick, actually, you know, uh, let's take a look at AMD went up with Nvidia. So did, you know, all these semiconductors arm. Uh, Broadcom, a little bit selling off Broadcom now. But anyways, all these other semiconductors also went up. Uh, let's say QQQ and SPY, yeah, they also went up QQQ all-time highs in the post market and so is, well, no, it's not SPY. SPY is still rejecting at that all-time highs. 
So tomorrow will be interesting to see if SPY is willing to give us some intraday cool offs at least. Um, yeah, back to the levels like 524 or so. We'll see then what happens there. But SPY, this would just be a pullback though. Okay, structure all in all is still bullish though on SPY and can remain bullish for quite some time. Guys, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful and valuable, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.